welcome to silica mac this is very easy tutorial how you can make a dab uh, dress uh, and uh, with uh, the north side uh, with side and for this project you need the stretchy fabric each and every step i'm going to uh, teach you so don't skip the video see this is very stretchy fabric and this uh, uh, I'm using for uh, to make the body of our dress see I just uh, fold it into uh, folds um, and uh, we need it uh, actually the four, four layers because um, uh, we are going to cut the front and back uh, at the same time and I'm using the basic pattern if you don't know how to make your basic pattern uh, you can check in my playlist for beginners I um, created a course for the beginners where i uh, teach you guys uh, each and everything how to take measurement and uh, make your own dress and how to make the basic pattern or otherwise you can use any of your dress to just uh, mark your uh, these uh, line the shoulder line or uh, chest line and the waistline so see now these are the lines that we are going to uh, stitch now it's time to cut our and this uh, skirt part of our dress so i just uh, cut from here and uh, I will place my uh, pattern on this piece of fabric and uh, length also depend how much length you want here I just fold from the waist and then uh, from the hemline uh, I'm increasing the length because I want it to uh, the full length dress so here you can see, uh, see that I just uh, cut according to my waistline curve and this is the front, uh, front uh, part of our skirt now i'm going to cut this um sorry th that was the back part and now i'm going to cut the front part so for front i'm using uh, my this uh, back part as a uh, pattern i just place it like this way and we need uh, need extra fabric here uh, uh, for the fall and drape and for the knot uh, so all these uh, things uh, we need and you have to cut it a little in shape and uh, but uh, the width should be uh, like uh, half of your um, back side uh, I mean uh, I will uh, explain you in a small piece of fabric as well so uh, in a couple of minutes I will also show you uh, what's going on here I know it's tricky so here I just marked that uh, almost 8 inches you know, for the knot. So uh, if you are not understanding what's going on, I will explain you in a small piece of paper. So suppose this is our uh, front and I just uh, cut it in this shape uh, and this, uh, this will uh, wrap it like this way. Hope you understand. Now uh, it's time to join the pieces and the back with the back as back is very simple so we will stitch here and uh, make sure you double lock at the first and uh, at the end and uh, after that we will um, start stitching the back uh, the front side see front we will uh, stitch like this way okay so hope you understand our knot part uh, our extra part will go here so now i just place my uh, front body on the front skirt and I will stitch till the um, uh, till the body and uh, after that I will show you how we can attach the front and the back so now it's time to attach front with the back this is our front you can see here is this extra fabric all for the knot let me explain you again on the piece of fabric see that's how it's looking and this extra fabric you can increase or decrease uh, according to your drape um, requirement how much you drape you want and uh, see i am now just going to pin up it the uh, sides make sure these stitching lines are equal and now stitch here and also we need to stitch the shoulder lines and after that on this side we will stitch only till our waistline because the uh, the other part will uh, we will wrap and tie with the front hope you understand the concept so now i just stitch here and uh, after stitching uh, till the waistline i will also stitch the uh, see this is uh, the side that is complete and now this is the other side that we need to stitch only till our waistline 
because here we will uh, uh, wrap and knot over this extra fabric and drape the fabric so after that see this is the look uh, till now now we need to add the um, a tie see this is the extra fabric that is going here uh, to wrap around and uh, to make a knot so we need a tie so for that uh, I'm just using this fabric uh, whatever uh, width and uh, length you required you can uh, cut according to that there is no hard and fast rule uh, it also depend that uh, but uh, um, as a rough, uh, rough estimate you can take it almost uh, 12 inches or uh, 12 inches long and uh, 5 or 6 inches of width so now I'm going to attach uh, this on the side and first pin up it properly and see on this side uh, the other side one side is open and the other is closed so we are attaching this on the closed side so pin up it properly this way see and now we will stitch it uh, and make sure you double stitch it because this is uh, something where our um, tie is uh, going to be joined and uh, for that we need strength here so I just double stitch it and now it's time to make the neckline so I just take this piece of fabric and now I'm just cutting my bias bindings and uh, if you guys don't know how to make a bias binding and uh, your neckline uh, you can watch my complete tutorial in very detail uh, but here I just explain it like how you just uh, cut your bindings and after that uh, join these and attach around your neckline so now I'm just uh, attaching my neckline uh, neckline by binding with my neckline and uh, after that you can hem it or you can just stitch by uh, sewing machine and also I uploaded a tutorial how you can uh, do invisible hemming so you can also check in my playlist and to complete your neck uh, neckline very uh, neatly so guys uh, we are almost uh, um, done uh, hope you like this uh, tutorial please give me your feedback I even if you don't like uh, just uh, thumbs press the thumbs down button but at least give your feedback and if you like please uh, press the thumbs up button and if you are first time here please don't forget to subscribe the channel so every time i will upload a video you will get notification thank you for watching bye bye